Pastor Kaufman, the pastor. I'm Dias, the pastor in the National Christian Center. And what a joy it's been hanging out with you, wherever you may be, across the city, state, country, and even the world, to enjoy a glass of coffee with you and to walk through the book of Proverbs. Today we'll look at Proverbs chapter 5. And remember, coffee with the pastor is not only drinking coffee with a pastor, but it's also being with people that you really enjoy being with. People just like you and I. Well, let me take my glasses out. You know, uh, as you get a little more mature in life, you need some glasses so you can see all these things that you want to read. Proverbs chapter 5. My son, pay attention to my wisdom and listen to carefully to my wise counsel. Then you will show discernment. Your lips will express what is learned. For the lips of an immoral woman are as sweet as honey, and her mouth is smoother than oil. But in the end, she is bitter as poison, as dangerous as a double-edged sword. Her feet go down to death, her, her steps lead down to the grave. For she cares nothing about the path of life. She staggers down the trail and doesn't realize it. So, my son, listen to me. Never stray from what I'm about to say. Stay away from her. Don't go near her house. If you do, you will lose your honor and will lose merciless people all you have achieved. Strangers will consume your wealth and someone else will enjoy the fruit of your labor. In the end, you will groan in anguish when diseases consume your body. You would say, listen to this, how I hated discipline. Boy, what a word, how I hated discipline. You know, I think we all at one point in our life hated discipline. This is not the hour for us to hate discipline. And in fact, we need to invite discipline in our life today so that we can get through the moments that we're in today in our culture. Also, here it says not only do we need to hate discipline, we need to, how, how we hated discipline, if only I had not ignored all of the warnings. Oh, why didn't I listen to my teacher? I think we all can say that somewhere in our life. Why didn't I listen to my teacher? Why did I pay attention to my instructors? I have come to the brink of utter ruin, and now that I must face public disgrace. Drink water from your own well. Share your love only with your wife. Why spill the water of your springs in the streets having sex just with anyone? You should reserve it for yourself. Never share it with strangers. Let your wife be a fountain of blessing to you. Rejoice in the wife of your youth. She is a loving deer and a graceful doe. Let her breast satisfy you always. May you always be captivated, captivated by her love. I'd be captivated by my son by a more woman, or fond of the breast of a promiscuous woman. For the Lord sees clearly what a man does, examining every path you take. An evil man is captivated captive by his own sins. They are ropes that catch and hold him. He will die for a lack of self-control. He will be lost because of great foolishness. You know, self-control is so important. There's in Galatians, it talks about the fruit of the Spirit. Part of the fruit of the Spirit is something called self-control. Self-control is simply two words. Self-control is you're controlling yourself, you know. And this hour, we have to control the words we say. We have to control the things we look at. We have to control the thoughts we think. We have to control so much. And we have to pray that God gives us self-control so that we won't go down these paths that will cause destruction. You know, I'm looking forward to spending some time with you tomorrow and, and conference with the pastor. And remember this. Ask God to give you self-control. I look forward to being with you tomorrow and enjoy the rest of the day.